Greetings from Omaha Clinic. I'm Dr. Arubadi Varman. I want to talk to you about the uh, refractable implantable lens from Akasami Associates, which they call as RIL. I implanted over 300 of these lenses so far. These are hydrophilic acrylic lenses. First thing, the material is something that we are all used to. We are all used to putting in hydrophilic acrylic IOLs. And the injection is very similar to that. It's very easy to load, very easy to inject. That's the first criteria. Very important. Availability of the powers is from about minus 1 to minus 20 and plus 1 to plus 3. Is available the toric uh, equivalent also up to a minus uh, 10 cylinder. So the lens is a uh, very good manufacture. Uh, the central thickness is average around 200 microns. There are central hole which is 340 microns. There are two peripheral holes also. Overall these holes help in uh, normal flow of aqueous maintaining physiological status for both uh, the iris, cornea, as well as the lens. So the incidence of having a uh, lens-induced cataract is going to be very less. The lens is available from size of 11 to about 14.5 millimeters, depending upon the white to white. So one can get a proper fit when the measurements are done accurately, and you can have a cons very consistent wall, which averages around 500 to 600 microns. That is very important. The vault stays stable, does not change over uh, the few years that I've been using these lenses. Visual outcome is very predictable. Most of these patients with very high refractive errors do have an issue of amblyopia. So you always get better vision when you implant these lenses, then you would get with either contact lens or with glasses. So there's never been any loss of vision, not a single line loss of vision by putting in these lenses. It's always been uh, at least an uh, improvement of one or two lines of vision. So most pay all patients who have preoperative uh, correctable vision of 6x6 six six or 6x5 six achieve that without any loss of vision. They, have, they don't lose any uh, vision at all. Uh, no line of vision loss. Another important point is there are no incidences of inflammation, pigment dispersion, increase in intraocular pressure with these lenses. I've never had any surprises on vault also. I've never had very low walls below 200, neither have I had very high walls over 800 or 900. So it's a highly predictable product, which is very, very easy to use, with very predictable results.